Hey guys, welcome to the video. In this video, I'm giving you another very easy and simple 15 to 20 minute routine that you can do very often in order to improve a specific area. Now, this specific area is going to be your passing and receiving and also your ability to turn with the ball quickly. So let's get right into the drills. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to Simply Soccer as well. And I'll talk to you at the end of the video. So first drill is very simple, just two touch passing against a wall with the inside of your right foot. Um, make it so that you're only taking two touches, that you're cushioning the ball right out in front of you, preparing for the return pass against the wall. You want all these touches to be crisp, you want them to be quick. Uh, you know, just make sure you're taking good touches and only count good ones, don't count any bad touches. And then you're gonna move directly over to your left foot. We wanna make sure we're training both feet equally so same again only count good ones if your first 10 are good then great if not then you want to make sure you do additional ones and for some of these drills you'll see me do a few more on on one or the other side uh, simply because i'm not happy with some reps so now we're going to two touch but now outside of the foot to control it again make sure you're controlling it so that you're set up for the return pass if you're miscontrolling it um, or you don't like your touch then don't count the rep and just do it again at the end um, what you're gonna see me do here with the left so same thing you only count the good reps to touch make sure you're setting yourself up for the next pass when you're in a game you want this to be automatic uh, so the more you work on this the better it'll be um, if you don't work on this in your training you may be taking missed touches in game like like I am here uh, but you can see I'm doing a few more at the end to make sure I get them in and then here's a little uh, freestyle intermission so that you have that, you know, because why not? I always do a little bit of freestyle here, so I'm just going to cut away as this continues. Back to the drills. So now we're doing the same thing, two touch, except we're alternating feet. So you'll control it with one foot and then pass it with the other. Um, same thing applies here, only count the good reps, do 10 each side. Um, and just cushion the ball to your other foot so that you can pass it immediately after the touch. Um, if you're taking three or four touches or more, then don't count the rep. If it's um, you know moving too far away from you, don't count the rep. You know, a good rule of thumb is asking yourself really quickly, would this work in a match? If the ball was played to me and I did this, uh, would it be close enough for me to keep the ball and then pass it off? Or would it go too far away from me, uh, from me and the opponent get it? So that's a good way to kind of gauge this. Um, is, if it's a good touch or not. So now we're going to turn, uh, go into turning. So we're going to start with the inside of our right. Now I realize you may not have two walls or basically walls on each side like I have here. So if you're only working with one wall, just do this, do the turn, uh, dribble out a bit and then just turn back around to do it again. Obviously I can do it quicker and I'm doing it pretty rapidly here. But again, I'm going for 10 good ones, quick turns, swiveling uh, with the ball under control and then playing it right back against the wall. And then of course, we're gonna move over to the left side again. You wanna be able to do this on both sides because there may be an opportunity in a game where you need to use your weaker side to turn um, and you're not gonna be able to adjust in time to do it on your dominant side. So I definitely encourage you to be doing this equally on both sides. You never know when you'll need it. But again, you're counting only good reps here, doing 10 now with your left. So naturally we're gonna move on to different types of turns. We're gonna use the inside of our right going the other way. So we're gonna cushion it across our body and then turn around all the way around in order to uh, pass it against the wall again. This is actually a, a type of control very commonly used at the professional level. If you watch a lot of professional games, you'll see them do this, touch it, and then swivel around in this manner. Uh, of course, then we're gonna do our left, same idea take a touch try and take one touch to turn but if you have to take two uh, like you see me doing in a few cases do that as well this is a little more difficult uh, sometimes you won't be able to touch it all the way around uh, but that's your aim you want to maybe take a good touch so it goes across your body and sets you up for the pass but if you need to take three touches um, you know you can allow yourself to do that for this because maybe the ball coming into you is a little harder to control but try and swivel as soon as you can 
So naturally we're gonna do outside of the foot now, same idea as you wanna turn as quickly as you can with a nice touch, bringing it under control. If you have to take a few other touches, it's absolutely fine. Just make sure you swivel as quickly as possible. Again, go for 10 really good ones here, and this will tire you out a little bit doing it rapidly like this. Of course, if you're only using one wall, you'll, you'll probably tire you out as well because you'll have to do the turn and then turn back around towards the wall. Uh, but either way, this is gonna come in handy in matches. You can see I made a mistake there, so I go back to do another one to make up for it. Uh, and again, just make sure you're only counting good reps. It's okay to make mistakes. You're gonna make them. Uh, just you know, make sure you get in additional reps if you do. Of course, we're doing our left now, so same idea. Again, I, even if you're bad with your weaker foot, which the left foot is for me, uh, make sure you're training it, even if you have to stay a bit longer to get in the reps, that's absolutely fine. That's how your weak foot's gonna get good. You know, for all of you who ask me, how do I get good at my weak foot? Well, you use it. You practice it, uh, or you use it as much as you use your dominant foot in training. So now we're doing a bit of a harder one, which is kind of like a Cruyff um, turn, um, or, you know, between your legs and then turning you know, I like this one because I watch Adam Lalana do it all the time for Liverpool. And it's actually a very useful turn when you get good at it and you're not making mistakes like I did there. Um, and the idea is you want to try and take it in stride, which I do a good job of in some of these. In some of the other ones, I don't do the best job. But you want to take it in stride and almost turn with it. Um, so you'll see a few where I do that. You'll see a few others where I have to take a few touches in order to prepare myself for the pass. Um, but that's the idea, you know, you'll get better at this with practice, but again, go for 10. And then, yes, you guessed it, doing the same with the left foot. Um, this is my weaker side, so you'll see some that are not as good. I take it a little slower on my left side. Uh, I'm building my way up to going faster just because it's my weaker side. But as you can see, I'm, I'm fairly comfortable doing it on my weak side, and that's just because I've been practicing this, um, and it really just comes down to that if you wanna get good at these things okay so that's the whole routine guys you know it's very simple but you know if you do this very very often um, you will see improvements quickly this routine can take as little as 15 minutes um, and it's really up to you how much work you put in and if on how much you improve all right so thanks for watching i uh, please like and share this video and take a look at the two other videos i put on screen to help you out to help you train let me know if you want more of these kind of short 15 to 20 minute routines and i'll see you in the next video